friends so today we are going to discuss about one more point about green catalyst that is a bio catalyst it is a sub point in green catalyst uh, then in case of bio catalyst we already discussed that uh, the catalyst means in case of normal reaction the catalyst is a compound which increases the rate of reaction right uh, but uh, doesn't take part in the reaction actual reaction and after reaction it can be separated out so in case of bio catalyst as its name suggests bio catalyst means it is in the biological system or may be used by the microorganism produced by microorganism and all so just see the most important conversion in the context of green chemistry is with the help of enzymes right with the help of enzymes and the bio catalytic conversion have many advantages in the relevant to green chemistry means the enzyme which are produced by any microorganism or any biological system it called as in bioenzymes or they can be used as in catalyst then we can say it as in biocatalyst okay the enzyme which increases the rate of reaction are used as in catalyst and that enzymes are produced by any microorganism or any biological system then we can call it as in biocatalyst so the important features about biocatalyst c1 by 1 most of the reactions are uh, performed in aqueous medium at ambient temperature and pressure means in case of this biocatalyst this biocatalyst require ambient temperature and pressure ambient temperature and pressure means normal temperature at uh, 37 degrees celsius and all and pressure means uh, one atmospheric pressure mm -hmm. all so they require just a normal condition ambient temperature and pressure and most of the reactions are performed in aqueous medium aqueous medium means there is no need of any other solvent they can be easily dissolved in water so uh, there is no need of for this reaction for uh, this biocatalyst to use this biocatalyst there is no need of any solvent in the reaction just they are performing aqueous medium also means as in presence of water normal water can also use as an uh, aqueous or uh, sorry solvent the biocatalyst conversion normally involve only one step as you know that uh, our so many steps are there in normal reaction if, if you take any multi-step reaction then you can see uh, there are so many steps and required so many enzymes or um, various catal catalyst will be there so in case of biocatalyst there is only one conversion from reactant to product if you use any biocatalyst then it will give you directly that uh, product and there is no need of any uh, different different steps for the production then protection or deprotection of functional group is not necessary as they are highly stereo regioselective as they are there is no any need of protection and deprotection means uh, if there is uh, when we do protection or deprotection when there is same group or if two carbonyl groups are there or two acid groups are there present in a compound then if we want to just uh, do reaction on only one compound or only one uh, functional group then we have to protect the another functional group so because of that we require protection and after the reaction we have to require we have to do deprotection of that functional group but in case of this biocatalyst as they are regioselective means selectively they only reduce or oxidize suppose we have to do oxidation of any functional group then they can be easily only oxidize that functional group or that acid molecule that acid functional group and other will be remain as it is so there is no need of protection of another functional group or another acid group so protection and deprotection of functional group is not necessary as they are highly regioselective then the reaction are fast that is 10 to 11 to 10 to 15 times per second faster than a normal reaction and conversion is stereospecific means only one isomer is produced suppose any reaction is giving you uh, addition of isomers means there will be a s isomer as well as s stereomers and r stereomer will be there then there is only production of only one isomer stereo specific isomer will take place okay so these are the important features about biocatalyst they are takes place in a normal condition reaction condition that is aqueous medium there is no need of any solvent ambient temperature and pressure will be required important point is it completed with only one step there is only one step reaction no need of any multi-step then protection and deprotection is not necessary as they are highly regioselective. Then there are faster reactions and it is also stereoselective. So you will get a uh, enantiomeric excess of only one isomer. So it is uh, efficient also. Okay. Let's see examples one by one. For example, 
बायोकेटेलेटिक कन्वर्जन ऑफ पेनिसिलिन इंटू सिक्स अमीनो पेनिसिलिक एसिड बायोकेटेलेटिक कन्वर्जन ऑफ पेनिसिलिन इंटू सिक्स अमीनो पेनिसिलिक एसिड सो वी हैव टू डू दिस कन्वर्जन वी कैन डू इट बाय टू वेज बाय यूजिंग अ बायोकेटेलिस ऑल्सो और बाय यूजिंग अ नॉर्मल स्टेप रिएक्शन ऑल्सो सो यू कैन सी इन केस ऑफ अ नॉर्मल स्टेप्स रिएक्शन देर आर फोर स्टेप्स और सी इन केस ऑफ नॉर्मल कन्वर्जन केमिकल रिएक्शन हियर वी हैव दिस पेनिसिलिक पेनिसिलियम देन विद दिस ट्राईमिथिल सिलिल क्लोराइड देन पी सी एल फाइव इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ मिथिल क्लोराइड एंड पी एच एन एम इट वाइज सो यू विल गेट दिस कंपाउंड एंड आफ्टर रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड विद ब्यूटेनॉल यू विल गेट सिक्स अमीनो फॉस पेनिसिलिक एसिड ओके सो दे इट रिक्वायर टू थ्री स्टेप्स for the production of this penicillium to penicillic acid six amino penicillic acid but in case of biocatalytic reaction when we use any biocatalyst then see this reaction will take place in only one step we have a penicillin we use this biocatalyst bioenzyme that is in cyclase sorry in acylase we use this in acylase enzyme and it will give you penicillium to direct six amino penicillic acid so it is only one step reaction it require only water there is no in need of any other uh, solvent okay then 37 degree celsius at normal temperature so this type of reaction is only one step reaction there is no waste of product there is no any uh, more side material or by product will formation you will directly get this uh, penicillium to direct six amino penicillic acid and in case of a normal condition there are so many steps so you know if steps are increases then वेस्ट product or by product side product also increases so you will get less atom एटम इकोनॉमी राइट सो दीज आर द लेस प्रिफरेबल रिएक्शन दैन दिस बायोकेटेलिस्ट बिकॉज बायोकेटेलिस्ट रिएक्शन गिवन बाय ओनली वन स्टेप रिएक्शन एंड देर इज नो एनी नीड साइड प्रोडक्ट और वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस ओके इट इज अ सिंगल स्टेप रिएक्शन इट टेक्स प्लेस इन वॉटर ऑल्सो एट नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर एम्बियन टेम्परेचर ऑल्सो एंड एज we are using a biocatalyst biological system there is no any toxicity also okay the next point let's see this is about biocatalyst okay uh, about penicillin to penicillic acid now microbial oxidation in case of oxidation also you can use the biological systems means microorganisms so microbial oxidation have been known since ancient days this normally gives high yield will with high hegio selectivity high stereo selectivity and high chemo selectivity means by using this microbial oxidation processes you can give you can get a product with high hegio selectivity also high stereo selectivity means this reactions are high hegio selective and you will get an enantiomeric excess of any specific stereo isomer and chemo selective also let's see we have a sucrose molecule with water in presence of the yeast produces inverted enzyme and in presence of this enzyme this sucrose is converted to glucose plus fructose now this glucose or fructose with again this inverted enzyme it will give you formation of ethanol this is a common reaction that is from uh, last few, most of the years we are using this reaction that is sucrose or glucose means sucrose is converted into ethanol finally alcohol so sucrose is first converted into glucose and fructose and this again glucose and fructose again converted to ethanol in ethanol by using this inverted enzyme produced by the yeast means it is also a biocatalyst bioenzyme we are using for this conversion right see sucrose is converted into glucose and fructose after action of enzyme inverted by yeast and this glucose or fructose gets finally converted to ethanol here enzyme inverted is act as a biocatalyst one more example about biocatalysis that is microbial oxidation you can see lactose can be converted into lactic acid here we have lactose in presence of h2o in presence of bacillus lact acidic lactic or uh, in normal condition also in normal kitchen regular use uh, milk is converted into curd so there is a lactobacillus coca microorganisms that converted it secrete this uh, bacillus lactic acidic uh, so they converted to lactose to lactic acid and curd formation takes place so this is also normal reaction of oxidation of lactose to lactic acid one more example about oxidation is enzymatic conversion of ketone to ester okay see enzymatic conversion of ketone to lactone we have to do conversion of ketone to lactone is encountered in microbial degradation 
Example is cyclohexanone is converted into lactone via bare Williger type of reaction using cyclohexanone oxygenase enzyme. In case of a normal conversion of cyclohexanone to ester, means cyclic ester is called as a lactone. So we have this cyclohexanone and we can convert it to the ester molecule by using normal bare Williger oxidation method. Okay, so it requires many organic compounds, uh, solvent and reagents, but in case of biocatalytic way, we can use cyclohexanone oxygenase enzyme. So cyclohexanone oxygenase, cyclohexanone oxygenase enzyme in presence of NADPH and oxygen, it will convert it, this cyclohexanone to this lactone molecule and NADPH uh, side product and H2O will be eliminated out. So these are the simple normal conversion of ketone to lactone. One more example of conversion of ketone to lactone is you can see here we have a 4-methyl cyclohexanone right 4-methyl cyclohexanone in presence of this cyclohexanone oxygenase enzyme it converted into and glucose 6-phosphate it converted into lactone again we have a lactone molecule 98% enantiomeric excess is there 98% enantiomeric excess okay enantiomeric excess means uh, if there is, is suppose we have one compound RNS stereoisomers we are getting two products R and S then if R is in 98% enantiomeric excess then 98% means remaining 2% right remaining 2% will be distributed as 1 and 1 and 90, 98 plus 1 99% will be uh, percentage of this lactone and remaining product will be of only 1% so we have this 99% of lactone production takes place of this isomer okay See one more example about hydroxylation. If we have to do hydroxylation by using biocatalyst, then example is microorganisms are produced, are used for the microorganisms are used for hydroxylation of steroids to generate optically active compounds. Hydroxylation means addition of or substitution of OH, addition of OH in the system. We have to hydroxylate it. So, microorganisms are used for the hydroxylation of steroids. Steroids means that normal system is a steroid. It is a 3-6-member ring, 1-5-member ring. Okay. Then, example is progesterone. That is a raw material for several um, medically important steroids. So, this progesterone can be converted into 11-alpha-hydroxy progesterone. Means at 11 position, we have to substitute hydroxy group. Okay, here, here this is the 11th position and at this position we have to substitute this OH group. So this hydroxylation of progesterone can be done by aspargillus ochracin, that is ochracin's bacteria, microorganism can do this hydroxylation and at 11th position there will be substitution of OH takes place. This is a 11 alpha hydroxy progesterone. Okay, simple example. One more example about steroid is Hydroxylation of 9 beta, 10 alpha, pregnadine dione. Pregnadine dione gives corresponding cis alpha, uh, 16 alpha hydroxy derivative in kilogram scale. Means here is a 16 position, and at 16 position there is a hydroxylation text plus. So you will get 16 alpha hydroxy product, and it is a 81 percent yield. It's 81 percent yield. There is no name as enantiomeric excess. It is a normal yield of compound 81 percent. Okay. Then one more example about hydrolysis. Hydroxylation we have to substitute OH group. And in case of a hydrolysis, we have to break down of that compound. If suppose we have a ester molecule, hydrolysis of ester molecule, you will get alcohol plus um, what? Acid plus alcohol. Okay. So we have this enantiomeric hydrolysis of meso compound. This, this, this is a meso compound. Meso compound means that plane of symmetries are passed on our cell. Don't need that. The kashla element upon meso compound means. So this is a meso compound, right? One plane from this position can go pass from this molecule. So this is a plane of symmetry. This is a meso compound. These two planes, these two half can be overlap on each other. So this is a meso compound enantio selective hydrolysis of meso compound we have to do enantio selective hydrolysis we have two ester molecules coome and coome if we have to do only hydrolysis of any one ester group then after hydrolysis you will get acid plus alcohol so this ester is converted to acid now for the enantio selective hydrolysis of meso compound it is carried out in presence of pig liver esterase enzyme ple 
pig liver esterase PLE okay this pig liver esterase enzyme why it is named so because it is extracted from liver of a pig so it is a pig liver uh, esterase enzyme after using of this in ensho selectively only one ester group is converted to acid molecule and it is a 96% enantiomeric excess. Means we are getting this product with 96% enantiomeric excess. Means remaining 4% is divided into 2. Means 2 plus 2, right? In 96 plus 2 means 98%. So we are getting this product with 98% yield and remaining 2% will be another compound. Okay. See next example. There is a horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase that is HLADH that oxidizes many alcohols to aldehydes ketone and further acids stereo specifically so we have this compound primary alcohol in presence of this horse liver alcohol oxygenase enzyme dehydrogenase enzyme in presence of pH 9 and 20 degrees Celsius there is a conversion of this alcohol to acid takes place and after cyclization you will get a lactone formation lactone means what in a cyclic compound, if there is contained ester, double bond O, C double bond O, okay. So, cyclic ester is mostly called as lactone. So, firstly, in presence of this uh, horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme, it, this alcohol is oxygenated to acid and after cyclization, it will give you formation of lactone with a 72% to 77% yield. High yield production there. 72% is also good yield, okay. Then, this up to this is hydroxylation, then hydrolysis reaction, one point about oxygen, uh, this oxidation. You can see we are using this horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase for oxidation here. We can use uh, the same compound means related to this horse, you will get another one which is used for the reduction. We will see it afterward. See, we have this reduction for the reduction uh, so uh, in case of a reduction the prelog one scientist who first he say this reduction about reduction so prelog studied that when ester having smaller side chain it gives s miss s isomer uh, after reduction and if having a larger side chain then it give you r isomer okay the enzymatic reduction are straightforward and highly stereospecific they are highly stereospecific okay so see the prelog says that if we have this compound, if we have these two compounds, then if the substituent is smaller or uh, the side chain is smaller, then after the using of this Becker cyst, Becker cyst normal we use for the in bakery, then after using of this Becker is is enantio selectively and stereo selectively, means chemo selectively and stereo selectively. Stereo selectivity means what? For for after the reaction you will get a stereo selective product. R and S zone is the cell. The fact that is S in isomer, isomer, stereo isomer, the cell. Or we are getting only R stereo isomer. Then we are saying it is a stereo specific reaction. And in and chemo selective means only one chemical group, only one functional group is going to react, or the reaction on only one functional group is going to happen. Then we can say it is a chemo selective. This Baker is is just stereo selectively changing if there is a small substituent present on the chain or present on the group then it will give you s alcohol after this compound you will get s alcohol and if there is a large substituent then after reaction you will get r alcohol okay this is a stereo specific way and in case of a chemo selectivity when you are using a beckerist here also there is a beckerist after using of this Beckerist, we have this two functional group. Here we have a ketone and here we, here we have a ester molecule. Same here we have a ketone and ester molecule. Then after using this Beckerist, the reaction on this both compound or both functional group should be there. But chemo selectively, it only react on this carbonyl group, C double bond O of ketone and not on this ester molecule. It remains as it is, right? So this is a stereo selective also. As there is a small substituent, it is giving S. As it is a last substituent, it is giving R isomer. And chemo selective, why? Because only this ketone is going to reduce and not this uh, ester group, right? So the it is showing stereo selectivity also and chemo selectivity also. Then one more example about reduction you can see. See, enzymatic reduction are reported with high stereo regio and chemo selectivity. That example is here we have functional group. Uh, here we have enzyme that is horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme and in presence of NADH you will get reduction of this O 
ketone group 2 OH so it is a hundred percent enantiomeric excess means totally hundred percent product uh, for product formation takes place there is no any side product okay atom economy hundred percent it is a green chemistry right green chemical um, allow karta hai to. then in this case, you can see here we have a two functional group. Which is ketone molecule is symmetrical formula, is symmetrical structure. As well. We have a two ketone molecule, but this HLADH selectively reducing only one functional group and it is a 100% enantiomeric excess. Second example, in third example, in presence of this LLDH, here is also conversion of this ketone to OH, right, and 98% enantiomeric excess. Then here you can see we have this two molecules and out of this this have is having a small functional uh, side substitution side chain and here this molecule have a longer side chain so in terms of three book t brocchi that is a microorganism t brocchi this microorganism in terms of this microorganism it reduces this carbonyl group to oh it, with a highly java small substitution cell small side chain cell teva R two butanol R stereos chemistry will be there and where there is a long longer side chain then it will giving S two hexanol with a ninety six percent enantiomeric excess okay so these are the some stereoselective and chemoselective products from the microorganism that secreted by means this reaction has happened by biocatalyst which are secreted from microorganisms okay so this is about biocatalysis and Okay, it is enough. Thank you.